And this is MPVC Reviews and More. Uh, this is our first video actually, and we're doing a review on the Beats by Dre Wireless, which we have right here. I'm Nathan. I'm Bryce. And first off, we made a chart for you guys. You can see it right here. Here, I'm actually gonna study this, put it up, and uh, you can actually pause the video right now just to look at what we got if you want to. But we just made all our topics right here, and then we got what I thought about it, and then what he thought about it, and just all our topics. So just yeah, the overall this is. Of the whole beats. Yep, and we're gonna talk about each one from each right now. One. So here we go. All right, now our first topic is the case. I rated it seven out of ten. I rated five out of ten. All right, now the reason I rated it seven out of ten is because I mean, look at it. You can already tell it's fabric. It's not really gonna protect it that well. Now, the reason I actually gave it a little bit of a higher rating is because, I mean, look at how small it is. You can fit this in any bag, really, compared to all the other beats, like Pros or Studios, they have a humongous case, and it's just, even though it is more protective, I mean, it's, it's bigger, and it's just less portable, and these would just, I mean, they're, it's small, and least likely to drop it, not really, but it's just... Still not as protective. I like it. It's smaller. Looks better, I think. Um, compared to the Solos, there is a little bit of a difference. This zipper right here is red instead of just being plain black. The B actually is a different type of material. Feels a little bit better. I mean, not really a big difference, but something to look forward to. Um, inside, really not much to it. Of course, you got your beats. Little pocket, like always. Stuff like that. Um, that's why I rate it a 7 out of 10. I completely you agree it? because, yes, the case is really soft, and I, me, rather prefer a hard case. And basically, that's why I rate it 5 out of 10. It's just mainly on the fabric, and I would just prefer a hard case than a soft case. Alright, now our next topic is portability. Um, Portability, I we both rated it a 9 out of 10. I think it's great. I mean, look at how small this little bag is. It's tiny. I mean, fit it in any bag. I mean, you could almost fit it in, like, a sweatshirt pocket. Now, especially the beads. Here, we'll pull these out right now. Not really on the case anymore. Let's see. Try to get it out real quick. Let me take the case. All right, now, as you can already tell, they look kind of like the Solos. I mean, same the idea. They fold out like solos and studios do and um yeah I mean really the same look to them now these are bigger the ear cups especially they're rounded too as you can see which it's kinda hard to see but you can tell that they're rounded um the hole inside is a little bit smaller so that means you're gonna get more bass a little squeaky um but and it's got a piano finish it's all shiny uh, the portability is great. I mean, these are small. Fit them around your neck. Wear them around everywhere. And, I mean, it's not really going to have a problem with, I mean, being too big. Now, that's really what I think about the portability. Do you agree? I agree completely. Um, I think this thing is really portable because, like, I really like this hand strap on this. I really like this hand strap. Fits perfectly. And, yes, I fit in my pocket, but ball just out a lot. Um, alright. Um, Let's see. Our next topic is durability. Now with Beats, they're known especially not for having very good durability. Now these compared to the Solos mm -hmm. definitely are way better. Now the reason I rate this is because they're bigger. more. They kind of feel more flexible, not as stiff. And I just feel like these are going to last me longer. And... I don't know, like, they're just bigger, I feel like they got a better build quality. This, around the band, is a lot thicker, actually, and, I mean, it's just great. I really like these. These are probably my choice of headphones. Um, yeah, I also agree, and these things feel, like, not really flimsy, but enough to, like, really feel good on your head, and they're really flexible, I like that a lot. The headband is nice. The ear cups are amazing, and it's like they're got a little bit of weight to them. But I gotta admit, that makes it feel so much more sturdier. 
Yep, I mean, another look at them. Um, next thing is sound quality. Now, with wireless headphones, that's the big deal, is sound quality. I mean, sound quality for wireless headphones, of course, are going to be a little bit worse. Um, now, with these, sound quality for wireless headphones, Bluetooth, are absolutely amazing, I think. They blow away any Bluetooth headphone I have ever heard in my life. Now, these, they do have a little bit of a muffled sound to them, a little bit, that you can hear, like, in the highs, a little bit of the mids, but these have great sound quality for wireless headphones. Absolutely amazing. Incredible. Now, the sound quality itself, I think, beats the Solos, Solo HDs, even the Studios. I think these kill the Studios in sound quality. I mean, the bass is very overpowering. I gotta admit, it is a little overpowering, but it's good. I mean, you can turn it down with an equalizer or anything. I mean, it just sounds great. The bass blows away, I think, all the beats. The whole beats lineup, the bass. If you're looking for a bass headphone, this is where it's at. Now, I think it kills the pros. It kills everything. And that's just my th like my perspective. I really like these sound quality-wise. Now, I'm not saying that these are going to be all headphones. I mean, I know there's a lot of better brands out there. Sennheiser. Um, I mean, there's just a bunch of different brands. But I think Bluetooth-wise, these are incredible. And, yeah. And I totally com agree 100% just because... I thought pros sounded good, and when I first got these, the bass blew me away. Even though the sound is a little muffled, but it still sounds really good. It's not that noticeable, but you'll get used to them. Like, the bass is probably the best bass I've ever heard by far on any and headphone. And quickly to cut in, the muffled sound, just because I think it comes from the wireless being said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that even if you don't like that, there's a... Uh, jack right here an audio jack that you can plug in a wire and so these aren't completely wireless these can be plugged into wire a wire so when your battery runs out you plug it right in and you still got your headphones um that actually goes on to our next topic is uh battery or yeah battery um the battery on these battery life is amazing i get around eight hours and i usually listen to maybe I'd say an hour, hour and a half, maybe two hours every single day of music. I've had these on for the past week and I haven't had to charge them once. Um, it's just great. I really, the battery is amazing. I mean, in compared to say the studios, Beat Studios, um, they require two Trip Boy batteries and this, I mean, has a built-in battery in here somewhere, I guess. Um, and you charge them right here. It's going to be kind of hard to see. You flip over the ear cup, and it's there's a little right there charging jack thing, whatever you want to call it. You just plug it in there, plug it into the computer. And, yeah, I mean, it's just a lot better. And even if it does run out of battery, I mean, like, if you have the studios, it, you're not going to be able to play any music or anything. Like that, um, it's you're just not gonna be able to use them. Now with these, if it does run out of battery, that just means you can't use them wirelessly. You can still plug in the wire right here. So yeah. And again, I view. totally agree with the battery. The battery is excellent, and I listen to them about the same. And they like for a much bass and how good these things sound. They did excellent on the battery life like they did really good I can I agree completely now um, the wire. yeah next topic is the wire now this wire right here is what it comes with it's got control talk on it um, you can see beats of course it's monster wire uh, no, the monster is known for their wire it's monster cable that's what they do is cables and stuff like that uh, I rated it 10 out of 10 now uh, the wireless beats come with a better wire than almost all the other beats. It's ironic, really, because they're wireless, of course. But, um, 
I mean, you've they got the new Control Talk feature on it, which is which is just a lot smaller compared to the Studios. It's a big, bulky thing, and this has play pause button, that little red strip right in the middle. It's got a mic. See right here. If you can see that, hopefully it focuses. Um, so yeah, I mean the wire L shape too. Also, it's a uh, great wire. I mean monster cables are all good wires. I mean non tangle. I mean you can mess this up and it's really not gonna tangle. Um, so yeah, pretty ironic how uh, wireless cables or the wireless headphones come with a better cable. And I agree. I like the finish on it a lot. And um, they did not put a control or a volume thing, control yeah. thing on it. And they could have done that, but yet there's buttons on the side of the headphones, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But um, the control talk is really good on it. It sounds really good. Uh, now, this is also the charging cable for it. As you can see, same finish. It's all red and stuff. It's really soft, like, the little USB, this black part is softest material. I mean, this wire is probably one of the best wires, charging cables I have ever had in my life. I mean, it is really that good. It's just great. I mean, I really like it. Now, next thing I have is wire with function. And, I mean, wire with function, just really, I just made it, it's just like the control talk feature. Now I rated this an 8 out of 10, he also did. It's just because all it has is play pause. And play pause, I mean really, you're not able to change songs, you're not able to yeah. change the volume, stuff. Just play pause and of course like when you're on a phone call, you just answer and um, we really both have the same views on that. Like I said last time, yeah, it could have volume control and change songs, but yet yeah, it does have those functions on the headphones itself but which is our next topic wireless with function and as you can see on these beats you got power right here previous song next song volume down volume up and play pause it's a big B now it has let's see six buttons on here all in all which overcome the wire uh, I gave it a 10 out of 10, he also did, I mean, it's just great, I mean, you're really not going to get much more, I mean, I don't know what else they could put on there, but I really like it a lot, and yeah, it's just perfect, I mean, and it's got like a little thing that you can feel so you know where each button is, and just a lot easier to deal with instead of having a cable when you only have one button on it. Um, next thing is the price. Um, price, it is pretty expensive at two eighty nine ninety nine. I mean, that's pretty expensive for a pair of headphones. I rated it 7 out of 10. He rated it an 8 out of 10. I mean, really don't have much to say there. It's two hundred eighty nine ninety nine for, um, a pair of headphones. Now, I just, I rated it pretty high because... This is probably the best Bluetooth set of headphones that you're going to be able to get on the market right now. They're top of line, great, amazing. And I rated it 8 out of 10 just because I rather prefer these in the studios. Just because the bass is so much better, even though the sound is a little bit muffled. I mean, it's not really that bad, like... And even I with the cable connected to it, to the phone, I mean, it sounds better than the studios, and in my opinion, even the pros. Like I was saying, um, <laughs> um, I really do like the price, though. That The price is really good. But the studios, I'd rather have these in the studios, just because the bass, I'm like, I like more bass, though. Like, the muffled sound doesn't really, doesn't really bother me that much. I can just get used to it, but I really do like the bass. i got to give it 10 out of 10 for that. Uh, now, overall, I think these headphones are a solid 10. Uh, just great Bluetooth wise, wireless wise, I mean, like, just absolutely amazing. Now, I just really think these headphones are great. Just, I think they're the best on the market, wireless wise, and just really, I really highly recommend these. Great set of headphones. I also do agree 100%. Just though, even though I said that I like more bass, 
they could have worked on the sound, like not the sound quality, but cut that part out. Just cool. But yeah, I mean, and we actually forgot to uh, put something in there. There's also uh, comfortability, like how comfort oh, yeah. how, how comfortable these are. And I just, I mean, these this is pleather right here for the ear cups. It's just great, so soft. I mean, really, it feels so good. The headband is um really thin. I mean, it's not much padding, but it's at least it's something. And it's a rubber material, just like the Sela's. Um, and it's just not going to slip off your head. I really like these a lot. It's also got a mic right there if you didn't see it. But yeah, um, that's my, our review. It's actually our first video we've ever made. Let us know. Rate, comment, subscribe. Yeah, like I said, this is our first video, so let us know what we did good, what we did wrong. Um, just let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Here's why I rate it 5 out of 10 just because it's fabric. The solos and studios have the hard case. I like the hard case a lot studios better. And pros. Solos have the same case. Studios and pros. What do you mean? Say. Just because. Did I say the pros? You said solos and studios. Solos have the exact same case. Oh. Well. Studios. Um. It's lost. But topic. yes, I complete, um, com completely. And yeah.